Hi friends, in this class, I will explain about the modern periodic table, which is one of the most important concept. Now, in this periodic table, we have few vertical columns and horizontal rows. If you observe here carefully, how many vertical columns we have? See, this is the first vertical column, and this is the second vertical column, and this is third up to the twelfth, and here we have thirteenth vertical column, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. That means we have 18 groups in the periodic table, modern periodic table. And what about the horizontal rows? See, here we have the horizontal rows. And this is the first horizontal row and the first period and the second horizontal row, second period, third horizontal row, third period. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and here if you observe carefully I have put the 8th one also. I will explain the reason afterwards why I have put the 8th period also in this periodic table. And now if you observe carefully in the modern periodic table we have 7 periods and 18 groups in these 18 groups the first group elements observe here carefully the first two group elements that means hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium so in these metals in these elements Except hydrogen remaining all elements which were written in orange colored These are all called as alkali metals So why lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium are called as alkali metals because when these metals react with water they will form strong bases and also these were obtained from plant ashes and these first group elements are also called as most reactive metals of the most reactive first group of the periodic table and here if you observe hydrogen is placed at the top of the periodic table in the first group why it is placed there there are some specialities of the hydrogen actually hydrogen is a non metal it has a single electron and its atomic number is 1 so it's placed first Moreover, some of its properties match with the alkali metals. That means these are from lithium to francium. So few properties of hydrogen resembles with these alkali metals. And so it's placed in the group number one. Although it has the properties similar to those of halogens too and can be placed in group number 17 too. Its position is anomalous. See, the hydrogen has the properties of alkali metals as well as the properties of halogens. That means it can be placed in group number 1 or in group number 17. So that is some anomalous position of the hydrogen in the periodic table. And what about the second group elements? 
and these group elements that means beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium these elements were called as group number 2 elements that is second group elements and these elements were also called as alkaline earth metals so these are called as alkaline earth metals why these were called like this alkaline alkaline means having basic nature and the solutions which has ph value greater than 7 these are called alkaline solutions and we know that if the solution is if the ph value of the solution is greater than 7 it is a base and this is second most reactive group and observe the group number 3 carefully here in the group number 3 if you observe carefully i have written an element here that means lanthanum which has the atomic number 57 after that we have atomic number 72 and where these 14 elements were placed these 14 elements that is from atomic number 58 to the atomic number 71 these were placed at the bottom of the periodic table and these 14 elements are called as lanthanoids so why these 14 elements were placed at the bottom of the periodic table separately and if you observe carefully in the same third group from actinium which has atomic number 89 after that we have atomic number 104 and what about these 14 elements so observe here carefully after the element actinium we have the element which has atomic number 90 at the bottom of the periodic table again from 90 to 103 these elements were called as actinoids and why these were called like this and why the lanthanoids and actinoids were placed at the bottom of the periodic table separately because these elements are different from other elements in the periodic table see these have the some similar properties that's why both the lanthanoids and the actinoids were placed at the bottom of the periodic table separately and observe here the 13th group element so here after third group we have Ten groups in between these two: third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. After that, we have thirteenth group. That is, these group elements were called as boron family. And after that, we have fourteenth group elements, and these group elements were called as carbon family. And then fifteenth group elements. starts from nitrogen these group elements are called as nitrogen family and 16th group elements oxygen family this oxygen family elements were also called as chalcogens why these were called as chalcogens because most of the 16th group elements are we th these will produce or elements that means most of the ores are in the form of oxides sulfides that's why these elements were called as chalcogens and then the 17th group elements fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatin 
these elements were called as halogens. Why these were called as halogens? Because of their great reactivity, the free halogens elements are not found in nature. In combined form, fluorine is most abundant of the halogens in earth's crust. And why these were called as halogens? Because all most of these halogens were produced from sea salts. That's why halogens are called as these halogens are obtained from sea salts. So 17th group elements are called as halogens. And then observe here the 18th group elements starts from helium and then neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. These elements were called as noble gases. Why these were called as noble gases? So noble gases are the least reactive elements in the periodic table. So these doesn't participate in any chemical reactions and they doesn't form any compounds except xenon. So xenon is the only noble gas which has the ability to form compounds. Because xenon is considered most reactive element in the noble gases. And this xenon is the only element that can form compounds. So here observe the 8th period. Sorry, the 7th period. Actually all these elements were discovered and these were completed. And now let us try to understand how many elements present in each period. If you observe the first period, there are only two elements that is hydrogen and helium. So in the first period, we have only two elements. In the second period, we have eight elements that is from lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. That means in the second period we have eight elements. In the third period also we have eight elements. In the fourth period we have 18 elements. See two elements here and 10 elements here and then six elements here. In total we have 18 elements in the fourth group. In the fifth group, sorry, fifth period, here also we have 18 elements. So observe in the 6th period, in 6th period 2 plus 10, 12 and then plus 6, 18. But from 57 to 71, there are 14 elements at the bottom of the periodic table. So 18 and these 14 elements. In total, 32 elements were placed in the 6th period. In the seventh period also actually in some books it was given that the seventh period is incomplete but actually all the elements are filled with the elements in the seventh period that means there is no gap in the seventh period all these elements were discovered so seventh period is also a complete period so here also we have 32 elements that means if you observe carefully here in the seventh period the atomic number of the lost element is 118 118 that means in the seventh period all all elements were discovered so 118 elements were discovered if 119th element were if it if it was discovered then where is the position of that if 119th element is discovered so that will be placed in the eighth period that's why i have written eighth period here if 119th element is discovered 
that should be placed in group number 1 in 8th period. If 120th element is discovered, that should be placed in the second group and 8th period. So, this is about the periodic table.